On March the 22nd, an incident occurred just a few feet away from here that rocked this community, rocked this county. And literally anybody who watched this news broadcast about what had occurred, the horrific event that occurred down here that night. Some of our worst fears, I guess, have been realized in this case in that it was strictly a random act. It just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, it appears to be robbery might have been the motive. We're still working on that. There's a lot of things that still have to come out of this case yet. It's still a very active case, very much under investigation. One positive point at this point is that we do have four suspects in our custody at this time for this homicide. We still believe there may be others in, still involved. It's still, like I said, a very active investigation. Of the four people that we believe that we have in custody that are involved in this case, two have been formally charged. The other two were in jail already on cases that they had been involved in prior that were picked up within the past week or so. One of the suspects was involved in the gun store uh, burglary in Leesburg where they broke in and stole some handguns and was apprehended that evening uh, by the Leesburg police. He's one of our suspects involved in this incident as well. He's also involved, as are several other people, in the, in the rash of burglar, burglaries that occurred in the town of Middleburg several weeks prior during the same time frame in, in March. So they were on quite a crime spree. This is a huge relief for the community that these suspects are off the street and their crime spree has been put to an absolute end. Uh, they are in jail and we hope that they will absolutely stay there. And it just uh, speaks to the need to be vigilant and be watchful of any suspicious activity that occurs. And you never know what reporting one little thing could lead to in putting the jigsaw puzzle together in other cases. Well, I think, as the sheriff said, there's still an awful lot of work to be done, both in county cases, our cases and comfortable in saying cases across the region. But clearly uh, this particular group was a, um, a group of fairly um, uh, active criminals and certainly showed a very strong propensity to violence. So ultimately I think it makes not just my community, the county, but the region a whole lot safer with bringing them to justice. How big of a part does the gang intelligence unit have in cracking this case? They're probably the most key element mainly because they know the people on the street. They're out here every night. Um, they know who to go to to talk to, to get information. They've turned over every stone that's out here. They've shaken every tree. Uh, they know a lot about what goes on in the community between them, the community policing. Um, those kind of folks that are out here in the communities every day, they know, they know the movers and shakers. They know who's doing what. Uh, they, know to go, they know where to go to look for something when they need something. And that's, that's a very big part of it. Establishing these relationships when they're out here is a very big part of when something happens, we know where to go to ask to get our information. And one more question. What kind of ripple effect could the arrest of these guys have on possibly other criminals uh, in Loudoun? Well, we hope they get the message that no matter how serious the crime and no matter how random you think it might be, uh, if we work at it long enough, we're going to get you. Do you foresee even further arrests other than the few that, that other than the uh, five or six you indicated? Well, the, we have four in custody that we, that we believe are involved. Two have been officially charged with this crime. Two have been charged on unrelated crimes, but will probably be charged with these in the next couple of days. There are still what we believe, who have yet to be identified yet, some other suspects out there. Um, mainly from the witness accounts and from some other information that we put together, we believe that it's, it's quite probably a fifth and maybe even a sixth person involved. That we still don't have IDs on yet, and we're still working on that. That investigation is going on just like it started from day one. You know, we're still looking for suspects, looking for information, uh, looking for evidence, those types of things. Truly the last question, how relieved are you and how relieved should the community be? <clears throat> well, we're obviously extremely relieved uh, to know that we've got our, you know, four of these people off of the street that were very actively involved in this assault. To know that they're in our custody now with these charges and some other charges, they'll probably hopefully be there forever. Um, so that's huge, and the, and the community should, should take some comfort in that. Um, there's obviously no guarantees ever that something like this can't happen again here or anywhere else, for that matter. We, nobody has any guarantees. But these particular people that were doing this type of thing have been doing it for, for several months now. They're off the street. Congratulations. Thank you.